Okay, so here we are with our grade calculator, and the first improvement we're going to make to it is we're going to add um, <clears throat> the ability to, or the requirement for the grade calculator to give a class average and also the total number of grades entered. Um, so in order to do that, uh, I'm going to have to, as I get the grades, part of my processing grades is going to have to be to um, add up all of the grades because an average is all of the grades added together divided by the number of grades. So I'm going to need those two new things. So I'm going to have two new variables, int um, grade count. So that'll be the number of grades entered and int grade sum will be the sum of all the grades. And I'm going to initialize both of those to zero. It's always a good practice to initialize your variables, <clears throat> even if they don't need to be. But in this case, uh, I believe they need to be because they're running counters. And I'm, the first time I use them, I'm going to be reading from them as well as writing to them. Um, now I'm going to be adding to my process grade. So I want to do it in this if statement. So let me just fix this up. Okay, so after I check to see if they passed or failed, I'm going to say grade count equals grade count plus one. Uh, now, this is why I have to initialize this variable because the very first time I use it, I'm reading from it uh, in order to add to it. So I'm, I'm taking the old value of grade count, reading from it and adding one and putting it, storing that back in that same variable. Same thing with grade sum. I'm going to take my old value of grade sum. So the very first time around, that's going to be initialized to zero. And I am adding, now instead of adding one, I'm adding the grade. Um, and because I'm doing this inside my valid grade, so I should say here process valid grade. Uh, I don't have to worry about adjusting for that sentinel value minus one. Uh, when the user enters minus one to exit the program, they're not going to come into my processing grade section because of this test. So I'm only counting valid grades here and I'm only adding valid grades to my grade sum. Okay, so now let's add uh, some additional output. Uh, so I'm going to do print F percent D students in the class and a new line. So this is going to be my grade count. And print F percent D class average. And so this is going to be my class average. Now this is a little kind of cool what I'm going to do is I don't, I don't have to use an intermediate value. I can just type in my expression right here. So the average is the grade sum divided by the grade count. And uh, normally, or often, what you'll see is an intermediate variable used, like, for instance, average. So I'd have one line saying average equals grade sum divided by grade count. Uh, however, I can put that expression right in the print, state, print F statement, and it will be calculated. Uh, I do have to worry about a divide by zero problem. If the user enters no grades, the problem is going to crash, um, regardless of whether I use the intermediate variable or do it this way. So I probably should check for that. Um, oh, I need a, I'm missing a comma here. Now I noticed I was missing a comma because of that. The editor told me with the under, underline in red. So let's, I'm going to build this and try it, and then we'll, we'll add the testing for divide by zero. 
after we've tried this once. Okay, so here we are, uh, 23, 65, 89, 44, and the minus one to quit. So I've entered one, two, three, four grades, two passing and two failing, and the class average turns out to be 55. So that worked fine. Now let me show you what I meant by that divide by zero problem. So if I run this, and if I immediately type in minus one, so the grade count will be zero, and this is this message saying it crashed. And what's happened is I've divided by zero right here where I do my grade sum equals my grade count I divided by zero. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of this in an if. If grade count is greater than zero, I'll do my grade processing. And else, I'm going to print F. Whoops. Just a message saying no grades were in. You should always give feedback to the, to the user. Let them know what you're doing. Now, uh, this formatting needs to be fixed, so I'll just quickly do that with my Control K, Control F. Um, <clears throat> And that's going to avoid that nasty little little crash if no grades are entered. So if I just go right away to quit, it just says no grades were entered, and that's it. So that is our uh, first update to the grade code.